guys, Lord William Murphy here, and in today's video, I am going to try and do the first startup of my car. So off camera, what have I done? Well, I have extended the wiring from the start side over in this inner wing around to the starter motor, I've connected up all of the connections into the engine bay. Positives to the coil, negative to the coil, uh, positive and a negative on the distributor. And uh, all that's left for me now to do is to get it fired up. I've also taken the dash pot off and put some fuel in there. So, uh, fingers crossed we're going to get going today. Let's do this. Okay. Here goes. Right, got a really strong spark, so what I'm going to check is that the clearance in the valves is right, because if the clearance is too much, then I'm going to have an issue. That's it, it's point of call. So I was out here earlier today. I didn't do a lot of filming, uh, but what I did do was just make sure it cranked over, um, which it does. So I'm getting uh, fuel is in the dash pot. There is spark there as well, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, cut much wrong with it really. I'm feeling pretty confident. So let's get this uh, rock cover off, and I will adjust them tappets. I've checked the spark and there's a really strong spark. There is fuel in the carburetor, so that's good. Uh, earlier, when I tried to do it, I'll put the clip in now, there's a few pops and bangs from the exhaust, which meant that the, um, there is a, which meant there's a mixture of fuel and spark in the cylinder, which is firing down the exhaust, which is fantastic. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is adjust and we'll check and adjust the valve clearances. Now you do this is what's called a rule of nine. So if you take the first cylinder, which is number one, fully opened, then you're going to be checking number eight, which is this one here. Let's get the engine cranked over so that number one is good. So if I check this now, uh, I've got number one, two, three, four, number five on the rock. So I'm going to be checking number four, which is this one next to it. So I take my feeler gauges at 12 thou. And I put them in. And to be honest, that's a little bit tight. So I'm going to start from the beginning, number one, work my way through, and then come back once it's all done. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it on a time lapse, and uh, I'm just going to try and explain, hopefully, as I go along. Uh, one thing you need to have is obviously your feeler gauge. You need to have a screwdriver and a spanner for the correct size. It's half inch. You hold on to the, uh, the locking nut, put a screwdriver in and then you just crack off the um, locking nut and then the screw will screw up and down depending on how much clearance you want in that valve. So let's get with number one and then we'll, and then we'll start adjusting these up. Number one is fully open. So I'm gonna set the clearance on number eight. So they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to make it nice and easy for you to remember. So let's loosen that nut off. Clumsy. I put my feeler gauge in the gap and I'm going to turn it until I can get the gauges in and there's a bit of resistance either side which is about uh, about there so that's good so then with that in place I hold the screwdriver as still as I can and then I lock off that nut And then just double check it once it's done. 
which is good. Give it a little rock, and then on to the next one, number two. So two is at the top of the rock, and just seven. So I'm gonna put it into time lapse now. Hopefully we'll have to get the whole of this done. Turn the key and it will fire into life. I've just done a few tests, so I've adjusted and amended the, or checked and adjusted the tappets. They're good. I've got fuel, I've got spark. The clutch, uh, the choke and the accelerator cable are attached. And um, the last thing to check would be the timing. So I have tried to tinker with the timing already. Uh, it's just been popping and banging. So what I've just done, I've put a screwdriver down into the bores to see where the piston was. Now the piston was, up on two and three and in theory the rotor was pointing towards number four so I've just amended the um, HT leads and hopefully we'll get a bit more life so just had a phone call with Paul Jeffries and talked through the issues now Paul Jeffries is a fellow youtuber he also um, builds engines for a living so he knows exactly what he's talking about so going through, I've got fuel, I've got spark, uh, and I'm just trying to get the timing sorted. Um, what he suggested I do was using the bottom pulley, putting the notch on the very highest marker, which is top dead centre on the number one cylinder, which is the closest to the radiator. Uh, with that on top dead centre, I can then um, make sure that the rotor arm is pointing to the right so i'm just checking that the rocking is right so the rotor arm should be pointing around two o'clock now the issue i had with the rotor arm was pointing directly down so that's obviously not right the issue i have is now that the drive for the distributor is 180 degrees out so i pulled the distributor out i rotated the um the drive i pushed it back in the distributor caps all back on now and it's all timed up to number one cylinder and it should, in theory, fire. He's pretty confident. I'm feeling a lot more confident. So the only thing to do now, really, is cross my fingers and hope that this is going to start up. Oh, so I feel like I'm having deja vu a little bit. But I'll explain again. So, I've adjusted the tappets again. Um, there is fuel, there's spark. The timing is now correct. So it should hopefully cough and splutter into life. Bit of a tweak on the distributor, and we should be on to the uh, winner. I won't run for long, there's not a lot of fuel in the car. But uh, what we have got will be enough to make sure the engine obviously runs. The compression is spot on, so I haven't got any issues there. Let's do it. Give that a bit of a nip up.
He runs. Cool. Um, need time to have a little tinker with why it's not going to be running permanently. Uh, but this is the first start. <laughs> I am buzzing. So, uh, yeah. Runs like a bloody dream. I think that is now out of fuel. Fantastic, good. Happy days, come on Will. Not long till I am am. And uh, yes, a very, very good result there. 